What's good, Life Gainers? We're back in the building with another Life Gain Fitness video. Today we're talking about how do you know what are the signs and symptoms that you're getting too much protein in your diet. Because when we start our diet, we all know protein is a fundamental macronutrient you need to build muscle and help you lose weight. But sometimes our society has told you you need too much and we're going to talk about it. But first, I got to put on my plus seven glasses of life gain, health and fitness sexy as hell. Because I'm working on skill of my craft, bringing you guys a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Please subscribe to my channel. Turn on those notification bells. Also, I am back training clients in the triad area. I do have space in my roster now. I didn't for a long time. Check me out. Hit me up if you want to get some training. Also, if you want a meal plan or something like that, you can check my video description link and go sign up for the Life Gains financial channel. So it's no secret to some of you all, my wife is a kidney doctor. We met when I was a respiratory therapist and I was going through my fitness transformation at the time. And we learned a lot from each other about fitness, diet, and one of the things she has to do is direct her patients about the appropriate diet for kidney disorders. And it's not a lot of high protein. And from her and just doing it through myself, I've learned here are your five symptoms of too much protein in your diet. And we'll talk about them probably step by step. Fatigue. Fluid retention, if you start seeing swelling in your joints and your feet, you're getting too much protein. Decreased appetite, protein does fill you up, which is a good thing, but sometimes it gets to a point where you're just not hungry at all, and it could be because you're having too much protein. Believe it or not, gout can be a symptom of too much protein because incomplete protein breakdown creates too much uric acid and that start putting those little crystals in between your joints. That could be an issue of too much protein. And last but definitely not least, foamy urine, protein spilling into the urine and the urine becomes really, really foamy. A lot of personal trainers who use gear or tell you you just need to be flushing with a lot of water. However, it doesn't work the same way for you as it would work for an enhanced athlete. So what I'm saying is, Whereas their body can absorb so much more protein, you who are not using anything, the most protein that you, man or woman, is probably gonna be able to absorb in one setting is between 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal. It's about the most. Some people can do a little more, some people would do a little less, but that's pretty much the range if you're doing something like five to six meals a day. Now, I want you all to Take your fitness journey as something that you're utilizing to be the fittest version of you. It's not just about aesthetics. And so I want you to be paying attention to these different criteria because what I found works best for me, who's someone who doesn't use any performance enhancers, is a moderate amount of protein versus a high amount of protein. So when I'm dieting and I'm cutting and I'm trying to get my physique to look better and I want to feel better, I usually get in about 150 to about 190 grams of protein a day. And I weigh anywhere from 190 and sometimes I bounce up to 220. And that's what works best for me. So I want you guys to pay attention to these symptoms. Again, fatigue, fluid retention, decreased appetite, potentially gout, and foamy urine. Look at those, make sure you're not getting those. And if you're still wanting to get a coach to help you on your fitness journey, as I just said, I am taking more clients in the triad area to help you guys reach those goals. If you don't live here, check my website. The link is in the video description. You can get a meal plan with me. You can get a workout plan with me. And we can do a one-on-one -on -one session over the phone to make sure you are reaching your goals. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself that fitness life game. If you need that help, hit me up. I'm here to help you. And until the next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.